So this is an example of why you want to level your bed. So we're going to go through 3D printed parts and you can see that each one has a little more deflection as it wasn't leveled after continuous printing. And although the design of the part isn't affected, you can see the distinction between no leveling here and a freshly leveled part here based on the gap between the bottom and the top of the bed. So this is ideal leveling and this is a lot of neglect. Okay, so we have a leveled part here and an unleveled part here. And we're just going to take a look at the way the vertex bent up. So if you look closely, you can see we have clean lines at the vertex of the mold. And for the part that was not leveled, if you look closely, you can see that there's a lot of ribbing deflection, showing that the parts aren't flat. And when you flip them over, you can see again there's a hard corner and a rounded edge as the material started to deflect, right? As the material is cooling, it would curve up and pull away from the bed. And so that will change the final geometry of your part, which is why these were designed on the vertex or the corner of the mold, so we would get good clean lines on our interior geometry.